know we are so glad we are back again with another short uh, uh, message of the Word of God and also of our ministry. We are so glad we have got lots of parents who care. Uh, 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 when we ministered about the, uh, that, that God is looking for godly parents to bring up their children in a godly way. Amen. Because we are building up strong families relationship that, that comes to us for prayer and for also for many, uh, uh, you know, for the children that are uh, involved in drug and, and that, and we, we are praying for them. And we, we, we always tell the parents, also pray with us. And uh, they, are, they are praying parents, and we thank God for that, about our, uh, about our children in our, our communities that, that are those that are selling uh, drugs to the children, small children. We've seen that. I have interviewed a, a, a elderly lady that worked for the police who was on the Audrey and she mentioned how she was hurt and uh, you know she was she's already a, a grandma and that and uh, when she saw how the people go uh, have gone through that uh, the the little children and that and she has interviewed them and uh, not interviewed them she has counseling them at the police station mm. and uh, I interviewed her and she told uh, how it hurt her heart to see the people the children in that young age of nine years old of nine years old and uh, we are we pray against it and we are very we parents both my husband and I mm. our parents are very protective of over our children and we won't allow our children uh, we thank God that our children weren't involved in those things when they grew up because we encourage them to educate themselves and to uh, to become uh, what they want to become our son today is an auditor he studied very hard at uh, uh, at school they were in good school because both of us were working and my uh, daughter as well and today they married with the with children and we're glad for our four grandsons that we have all sons and i'm still waiting for the daughter to come amen so uh, we we are we know that it is uh, uh, for parents that's going for, uh, through that we we felt it with them and we pray them through hallelujah and we host tv pro, uh, programs about against drugs and alcohol uh, families that are you know uh, you know that is in alcoholism that the, mm. the mommy and the daddy then the children are taken off and sometimes uh, you know they are also in drugs as well and uh, it is not an easy task but it is uh, uh, we are glad that they are saved and born Amen. again and they restored by the holy spirit god has, has has empowered them with his holy spirit and they are been been completely restored and and healed and Amen. be thankful for that that is the first one that we have done and as we explain now we interviewed uh, the all involved uh, community leaders social workers even and our community schools especially in Mitchell's Plain, Kalicha and uh, Lavender Hill and Steenburg uh, and uh, many others as well. There's many places here in the city of Cape Town <laughs> and close to us as well. And we go into the highways and the byways with the Lord has uh, told us to go and we reach out to the pastors and we, we worked with them. Amen? Amen. And then the World Mission Awareness Prayer. We started, I should have started with this we started with the World Mission Awareness Prayer way back in 1994 when God has called us when we bef uh, when we started with this and we started it with with this in in the uh, uh, in the missionary organization that we start as a, a touch on nation it used to be a min called the South African Missionary Support Ministry it used to be called that and uh, uh, God told us to change the name to touching all nations because he is the one that touch, heals, and restore. And we, we started with prayer, and we are glad. We, what we do at the World Mission Awareness Prayer is all about adopt the nation mm. and unreach and unknown nation by prayer and intercede on behalf of them. Because we know that the gentle spirit touched them and healed them. They've been in touch with us. The pastors there and we are still in relationship with them amen, amen. and then we are host also special tv programs for the uh, the the ministers and that that comes here and we call mm. it the touch all nations uh, uh, ministry and uh, also hosting uh, a, a, a uh, what do you call it a tv we call it a tv conference mm. here and then they come and they join us and they speak about their country what's happening there and encouraging the people yes 
to and we encourage the people to sow into their ministry and to sow into their their uh, country and that because they especially the Rwandan country one of the pastors is very much involved pastor Fabe uh, uh, son which is called uh, Wyatt eh? yeah mm -hmm. Wyatt is very much involved in in uh, Rwanda and we so, we like to uh, uh, we always love to to support him when he go to the the people there in Rwanda and supporting him and there's also a pastor whom we know that is uh, his name is called uh, let me just get him from Rwanda as well that lived by us for a while and we supported him and he's still going uh, continually uh, doing the work there in Rwanda and uh, uh, his pastor Emmanuel Bukanzi and mm. uh, from Rwanda and he's Amen. still continuing with the work of God and we are uh, we are glad that God's word is com is going through the four corners of the earth, mm. yeah, and even in the, the 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 place called Rwanda. We know what happened there in 1994 when mm. the genocide broke up. Yes. And we know that God has restored the nation mm. there. That uh, and many of them, there's many pastors there mm. that has that that was in the the. And you, you, they call it the United uh, United Nations. Yes. Yeah, that has been restored, and yes. we thank God for that. Hallelujah! Yes. And then there's also another one that we know, Kevin and his wife. Uh, the family they are living in Pretoria. Mm. That's called Twani now, and he's still in the uh, SANDF as uh, I think he's a captain now. Mm. And the last time we heard from yes. him, he was a captain, and he used to go in the, what is that country name that you in? Morocco Morocco and he's still going there and we're glad for people that reach out yes to the people to the nation mm. and tell them that Jesus saved yes that Jesus is a savior yes. Hallelujah. and we're glad for that yes and as I said we uh, we also uh, the, uh, present we pre presenting Jesus now about talking about him yes so we'll be back. We'll tell tomorrow. It's, uh, we'll tell more about the. the we, uh, we start our ministry with prayer and intercession, and we've seen what God has done, and we are so great and we blessed, and we will bring back more great news from World Mission Awareness Prayer. As I said, we started with it, and we are grateful for our prayer partners that's praying with us. God bless you all and our prayer partners worldwide.